Well, good morning, party people. It's uh, March. No, <laughs> it's May 21st at 923 in the morning. Finally home from the hospital. I don't know. I spent like six and a half weeks in the hospital, first in the ICU, and then I went to inpatient rehab. What happened was I got, uh, got pneumonia pretty severely. My oncologist said that in 30 years of practicing medicine, he's never seen anybody survive uh, a pneumonia that bad. Um, the, my husband took me to the emergency room. They immediately sent me up to ICU. Uh, I don't remember any of this because I was in so much pain and <laughs> I was, yeah, it was just bad. Uh, they put me in a drug induced coma for about three and a half weeks because um, it was the only way they can get the, keep the intubation tube in me and keep me from trying to get up and keep me safe. <clears throat> so uh, my muscles atrophied. I didn't. I wasn't aware, but um, after 48 hours, you don't have your muscles atrophied. You don't have use of them anymore. So, um, but I'm home now. I have to walk with a walker. I mean, at home, if my little four-year-old isn't trying to pull me over, I can walk without it. But uh, at stores, I can't believe the rudeness of people. They see you limping. They see that you have almost no hair. And they still, they still just don't care. Um, but whatever. It's society, and I can't do anything to change that. Um so, you know, that's what we do. Uh, I'm doing my exercises and going to outpatient therapy, and uh, which will do me a lot of good because I'm still pretty weak in the arm, knee, leg area. I actually walked up my first half flight of stairs yesterday. <laughs> I know that's crazy sounding, but it's the small things. Um, and uh, I don't know, things are getting better. I'm, I'm so lucky to be alive. And thank you all for all your prayers because without you, I couldn't have done it. <laughs> I really couldn't have. Um, fought like I've never fought before in my entire life and had the craziest, craziest dreams while I was in that coma. Like it was a whole nother alternate reality. And I really think that like it really feels like what was going on in my mind was real and what they tell me happened. I have no recollection of, so it doesn't seem very real to me. But a lot of things that happened could just couldn't have couldn't have happened. I mean, at one point I was, I thought I was pregnant. Now, I don't have any parts to be pregnant, so <laughs> that was impossible. And um, I thought people were trying to kill me. It was terrifying. It was, it was really terrifying. But the next morning, uh, when Eric came to the hospital, the doctor had a much different report. Um, he said he couldn't believe we survived the night. If I had had to have compressions or be shocked while I was on the respirator, um, I would have been on a ventilator for the rest of my life. And my husband knows that that's not something I would choose to do. Um, so he was really prepared to let me go. And he was, he was strong. He was strong for me when I, I had no, I couldn't be. So, <clears throat> oh, that's hard to say. But I'm, uh, uh, I fought a good fight, and I'm home now. And uh, I love and thank you all. Have a great day.